Hi guys, my name's George, I'm a UK medical student and welcome to an insider's guide to medical school. In this episode we'll be talking about what to think about when choosing which medical schools to put down on your UCAS application. So there's 32 different medical schools in the UK that you can apply to as an undergraduate and it can be a bit of a daunting task to narrow that down to four that will finally go onto your application. Here's my stepwise guide of picking where you want to go. Okay, rule number one, keep an open mind. There's no such thing as a bad medical school. They're all very heavily regulated by the General Medical Council, and so they're not allowed to be rubbish. The prestige of the university will make almost zero difference to your future career. Degrees from all UK medical schools are valued equally. The overall reputation of the university will not necessarily mean that your experience will be worse or better. The important thing is picking the place that's right for you. Rule number two, be careful with leave tables. Leave tables are often people's first port of call when it comes to choosing what medical school to go to. They certainly were for me when I applied, and I can see why people would do that. It's such a convenient list of all the medical schools in what seems to be the right order. But the problem with this is they can be quite misleading. They all use different criteria, and some of that criteria, such as research or tariff entry points, will make no difference to your experience as an undergraduate. Rule number three, think about what type of course you want to do. Now there's three separate types of courses at medical schools. Traditional, PBL based or integrated. Traditional courses are good for people who like the idea of having a very structured way of learning. In these types of courses you will have a lot of contact time where you're directly given all the information that you'll need to know. Basic sciences, so anatomy, physiology, pharmacology, etc. will all be taught separately in very separate modules. PBL based courses are good for people who like group work and taking charge of their own learning. You'll probably learn the basic sciences in a more integrated way in the context of a clinical scenario. And integrated courses have a mixture of the two, so good if you like a bit of a balance. A lot of courses have a very clear split between preclinical and clinical learning. Preclinical learning is learning out of a textbook and clinical learning is learning on the wards. However, some courses will offer more clinical exposure earlier on in the course. This is something that is good to look up if you think it will be important to you. Rule number four, think about the location of where you'd like to go. This is actually quite an important rule because you'll spend five to six years in this place. So definitely take this into account. Think about whether your university will be campus or city-based as this will have an effect on your experience there. Make a shortish list of the places you think you'd like to go and then go on some open days. They're a really good way of getting a feel for the university and for the city. And rule number five, play to your strengths. The important thing here is to do some of your own research. Research into how the universities choose who to give interviews to. So most universities take shortcuts so that they don't have to read 2,000 personal statements and give interviews to 2,000 applicants. These shortcuts can be entrance exams such as the UK Clinical Aptitude Test or the set number of A-stars that the candidates need to get before they get an interview. A good way to find this out is ask at the open days or call up the admissions department of each university and ask them how they choose their candidates for interview. By doing this you'll increase your chances of getting in because you'll apply to universities that are much better suited to you. So there's my five golden rules for how to choose which medical schools to put on your UCAS application. So in summary, today we've talked about what to think about when choosing which universities to put down on your UCAS for. Here's the rules again. Number one, keep an open mind. Number two, be careful of league tables. Number three, think about what type of course you'd like to do, traditional or PBL. Number four, think about the location of your medical schools. And number five, play to your strengths. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.